Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well and welcome back to another thrifty video. Today we are throwing it back. We are doing a classic sit down thrift haul, which I'm actually quite excited about because sometimes when I go thrifting, I don't find like tons of things or like in this case, I found amazing things, but my phone died and I didn't have my camera with me. So I wasn't able to film the thrift with me portion. And then I have some other accumulated amazing pieces that I've been picking up here and there. So I want to show you guys all of it. It's going to be amazing. For everything you see in today's video, I got 10% off because at least here at the Indianapolis Goodwills, I am part of their VIP member club. And every time you spend over $25, you get 10% off. So not hard to get, especially if you um, do the volume of thrifting that I do, but still super helpful and appreciate it. So let's start with this trip over here where I found such amazing pieces. I started off in the denim section and was super excited that the first thing I found in that store was a pair of jeans. They're a black skinny jean. They're distressed. They're really cool, but these are from a Goldie and I love selling a Goldie. A Goldie does really well for me. So to find these at the thrift store for $7.99, I thought was a great deal. These are a little small. They look kind of tiny. They're size 26, but I also have their style number and all of that good jazz. So I would say I'm expecting to sell these for around $50 to $65. That's where I'm gonna hope to land, but it could be a little bit more, or a little bit less. It just depends for sure on what I find out about the style after I do some research, but that was a great find. And then this was an interesting find too. I went through all of the jackets and coats, which I normally do. I just, they sell well, jackets and coats. Since they're an outerwear item, usually just tend to, you know, garner more money because they are more expensive. And I found this little black quilted vest, which felt nice. The zipper is so smooth. But the reason I looked it up is because this tag is literally impeccable and it looks expensive. So I had never heard of this brand, but this is indeed more of like a designer level item, which is amazing. It's from the brand Takeo Kikuchi, which I had never heard of. If you've heard of this brand, let me know. But again, based off of just the tag, I decided to pick this up. It's a black little quilted vest. It has these little pockets here. It has a very interesting cut to it. Down below, it says it's a size two. And this size two tag is also the same kind of tag that they put in like Gucci garments. So it felt super nice. This was only $5.99. So I paid $6 for this, but the comms were really good. Like depending on what you could find, if you could find something more substantial from this, um, from this brand, then the resale was really nice. But I'm saying this will probably sell for, I saw some listed for like $100. I don't know if I'll get that, but to find it for $5.99, I'll hopefully get at least 50, uh, maybe more than that, but interesting brand, super cool. And then I found this amazing vintage Disney crew neck. It definitely has a vintage cut to it where it's gonna be really tight there at the bottom, but it has Mickey and then it says 25 on it. And I know that Disney World just celebrated their 50th anniversary not too long ago. So I did the math and I believe this is a 1996 crew neck sweatshirt, which is so cool. I was born in 95, so I felt like that was really neat. And then this is what the tag looks like. It's definitely, definitely older. It is a size extra, extra large, which also has a vintage kind of fit. I would say this looks more like a large, maybe extra large nowadays. It was $4.99 though. So for a 1996 vintage Disney crew neck, honestly, maybe I'll keep it for a bit and then sell it. I just thought that was so neat. I would probably list that around $50 in my store. And then another really good find, and you guys are gonna see a common thread where I'm hopefully selling things for around $50, or I think that things should get me at least $50. When I'm at a normal Goodwill, a normal thrift store, I'm that's really kind of what I'm hoping for. If I'm spending over $5 for an item, I'm hoping to 10X my money. And so I left anything behind that usually would get me less than that. And so that's why a lot of these are gonna have similar comps. These are an amazing pair of silk pants. They're a beautiful champagne color. I grabbed these. I was looking actually for pants for myself and these I'm excited to try on. I don't know what the sizing is going to be like because it looks like it's older, but then I looked at the tag on these and this is a great brand that I've sold twice before and that is Emmanuel Ungaro. So kind of more nice designer level and these are beautiful actual 100% silk. So a pair of silk pants, they have these gorgeous little pockets on the front. 
They're in a size 16 or an Italian 50, but gorgeous color, really nice pants. The comps on these uh, were at least $50. I saw some listed for like March 75, $85. Those are gorgeous. So I was happy to find those and those were $4.99. So great price on that. And then I actually, I met a subscriber this day. So that was super fun. And she had found this amazing Love Shack Fancy collab with Target dress. Um, and then she had left and I was like, you know what? I didn't look through any dresses. So I went to the same size as where she found that dress. And I happened to find this amazing dress too, which is another Target collab, which isn't the best. If this was by itself, it'd be worth so much more. But this is a gorgeous green, kind of like watercolor, interesting kind of printed dress. It was $7.99. It's in a size 2X, but it's an Alexis piece. So Alexis for Target. And Alexis is very expensive. It's a great brand to know. It's definitely on some of my brand lists that I've made for people. But I found this and I personally have looked at the Alexis for Target dresses before and those even cost like $40 to $50 on the resale sites. So to find this, I was still excited. I think I should be able to get, you know, around 40, 50 bucks. <laughs> but if you were to find Alexis by itself, not a Target collab piece, it would sell for more like $100. So definitely a brand to keep your eye out for, but super excited about that. And also my subscriber actually gave this to me. So if you're watching, thank you so much. It was so nice to meet you. She decided to pass on this because it has some stains on it. I'm gonna try to get them out. I thought it might be worth it. It's this really nice formal dress. It's kind of a tan color. It's floor length, really nice, perfect for a bridesmaid. And that's probably what it's intended for. And then it has this tie at the back with a cutout detail. But this is from Show Me Your Moo Moo, which can do well. I have sold a Show Me Your Moo Moo dress very similar to this for $75. So I decided to give it a go, even though it's got stains on it. Show Me Your Moo Moo, it's in a size medium. It's a nice piece. And then hopefully, you can't even really see the marks on it. It's on the bodice though. So I'm hoping that I can give this a good scrub and those will all come out. If so, it'll sell for hopefully 50 to $75, which is awesome. And now this is going to be crazy. Look at this stack I have here. Y'all, somebody must have donated all of their scrubs and I got pretty excited about it because these are one of the better scrubs brands that I know. Um, I found a bajillion of the same exact color and size. So this is pretty exciting. I have one two, three, I have four pairs of Figs scrub bottoms. So pretty nice. Figs is what the brand is. And I would say that the comps for these are not what they used to be, but I'm assuming I can hopefully sell each pair of these for around, dang crows, but I'm gonna be hoping to sell each pair of these for around $35. I paid $3.99 for each pair, but with 10% off, we're looking at more like $3.50. And they all are, let's see, and I think they're all in a size medium tall. They're all the technical collection from Figs. They're all nice blue pants. I think, yeah, I think they're all medium tall. Yep, they are. So I have four pairs of the bottoms and then I have two of the same tops as well. And these are also in a size medium. So that's what these look like. But from what I can understand, Figs scrubs are just, they feel nicer too than all the other scrubs I've encountered. And then I also found this one. This has, I don't think this is by the same person because it's from a different day, at least the tag color is, but this was marked at $3.99 as well. It's another Figs scrub top. This one's in a size large and it's a nice gray color. So I got all of those. I spent a good amount of money on those, but if I sell each one for $35, that's a lot of money. There's a couple hundred dollars right there that I could make potentially in profit. So I thought that was good. And <laughs> so I grabbed it. Then I grabbed this. Honestly, I might have Jeremy try this on. It's a really nice lightweight kind of sweater hoodie kind of a vibe. And it's from Vince in a size large. And some people hate selling Vince. Vince still does well for me. And they usually sell for around 50 bucks. So I grabbed this piece. It's a men's little sweater. And I thought it was really nice. So I decided to grab her. Hopefully it'll do well. And then for $4.99, I also grabbed this really cool kind of vintage styled Harley Davidson denim shirt, which I just thought had very interesting vibes. We have a Harley Davidson tag here on the sleeve as well as above the breast. It's embroidered with Harley Davidson and it's from Harley Davidson in a size medium. So I personally, I have done pretty well selling Harley Davidson and I thought this piece was unique enough and cute enough that I thought I could do well. And then it has buttons, you know, going down the front. 
really interesting piece. I haven't seen another shirt like that from Harley. So definitely thought with us going into summer and people are gonna be starting to ride their motorcycles again, I hope it will do well, <laughs> I really do. And then this is something that I recently saw someone else talking about and I decided to do a reverse image search and look it up. This was $9.99, which all of my Nike things at my Goodwills get marked up to like 10 bucks at least. But this is a soccer jersey. And so I have heard that these do really well on eBay. I decided to give it a go. This is what it looks like. I forget the exact year, but this is one of the US soccer jerseys from, I don't know, like maybe 2012 or something. I don't know, something along those lines. But it's in a men's size large. And so I thought, you know what? Today's a day to try it out. I paid, what, $8 for it at the end of the day. And I'm hoping it said it looked like it could resell for like 75 to $85. So I'm hoping for that, but at least 50 would be awesome. That would be uh, amazing. So, and yesterday I had to take some packages to the post office. And after I got out, I went and checked out my local Goodwill, of course. And I found two pairs of shoes. I also found a few things for Jeremy, but I, would, I wasn't gonna show those. But these are the first thing. They are a kind of tan leather pair of shoes. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see what that logo is here on the back based off of that. Maybe you'll know that these are a pair of Fry shoes. So I was pretty excited to find that. If these were fried boots, I'd probably be even more excited. But for $5.99, I thought that was a steal of a deal. Size nine and a half for women. A pair of little leather shoes is gonna do great. And the other pair of shoes I found looks like this. And they have some interesting like layers of leather here on the front but these are from Paul Green, and I have been having a lot of good luck with Paul Green shoes lately, so really, really excited to nab this pair for $6.99. I've only been selling their boots recently, but I've not found a pair like this where it's just normal, like, pump-ish kind of look to it. These are in a size three and a half, which is probably like a six and a half in US sizes. Um, it's always a little confusing, so I'll have to look at their size chart, but I thought those would probably do well. I'm hoping at least for around $50. <laughs> I've sold a lot of Paul Green shoes lately for like 75, so we'll see where I get on those. And then moving on to a different Goodwill, a different day, and honestly, this was such a great haul that day. Um, I was pretty jazzed about the whole thing. This first thing is a pair of pants. They more of like a sweat panty kind of like yoga pant feel. These were $4.99, but these are from the brand Cool, which I have done really well selling myself. <laughs> um, but Cool brand, I've sold a lot of like jackets and things from them for good money. These are in size eight short. So these must be a women's size eight short which honestly could do really well. Cool in general resells for over $35 for me for sure. And then, super exciting, I love selling this particular style of pant. These are really good and they are a seven for all mankind pair of jeans, which I pass and leave behind often. But these are the dojo style, which is the style from this brand that I'm always looking for. Look, I've only found this style like maybe three times and every single time I have them, they, re they resold for me on Poshmark and they all sold like in a day for around $80. <laughs> so definitely one to be on the lookout for. On the butt pocket, it looks like a seven for the seven for all mankind. These are $7.99. They are in a size 25, so a little bit small, but I still pick them up even though, here's the other thing, I believe that they've been hemmed. So I'm gonna give inseam measurements as well. Somebody took these, to a shorter length, which honestly for how small the size is will make sense because these are a really long pair of jeans. I've also sold a pair of hemmed dojo jeans before for that $70 amount. So I wasn't too worried even when I saw that they were hemmed. For $7.99, hopefully I can sell those for around $75. Here's hoping that that was awesome. Super excited about that find. And then I picked up a pair of Madewell jeans, which I think these are cute. They're a light wash style. They have a little bit of a flare down here, so I'm distressing, super cute. And these again were $7.99, all my jeans usually are at my stores. But these are the Cali Demi Boot jeans in a size 25. And for me, Madewell jeans have been doing well lately. 
And also I looked up before I bought these, I went through my closet of what I have listed. I looked up Cali Demi boot in my closet. I only have, I think one left for sale and I've sold like maybe six of the same style all for, I think they were like 40 to 50 bucks. So I decided that was pretty worth getting in my opinion. And then I was super excited to find these. These are a men's pair of pants, but they were in the women's section. So I was jazzed, I was real jazzed. These were on my men's brand list and I've never found them in the wild, but this is the brand Flint and Tinder and these are actually new with tags, which is super exciting. They're a waist 29 inches and an inseam 30 inches. These were $8.99. I did get 10% off, so I did get these for more like $8 instead of $9. They're the straight fit pants. They're kind of a nice like gray color, straight leg, really nice pair of pants. Um, and I think these originally cost around a hundred dollars. I think even for new tags, I'm hoping to get, you know, at least 50 bucks, but if it's more like 75, I wouldn't be mad. <laughs> so aren't those cool? I was so excited that I found those and then some really fun shoes as well. I did happen to find this pair of flip flops and hopefully you can tell from that logo what these are, but these are a pair of Tory Burch little sandals. And even when I've had ones that have some wear, like on the footbed, they still have done well for me traditionally. So they are a kind of gold snakeskin looking band with the gold Tory Burch logo there in the middle. These were $6.99, so seven bucks. A little bit less than that when I have 10% off. And they're in a size nine, and they are real leather, made in the Dominican Republic, and they are my size. But I'm not gonna keep them because um, do I need a pair of Tory Burch sandals? No, would I like them? Probably, but Tory Burch in general, I didn't look it up. I knew I was gonna pick these up. I love selling Tory Burch. Even used shoes do well for me. So maybe 35 to 50 bucks for those, that'd be great. And then a new rack of shoes got wheeled out with these on them. And I was like, these are so cute. At least for me, they're like perfectly my style. I love that they have a little bit of a chunkier bottom. I think they're so cute. They're real leather. And these are a pair of Madewell leather heels again didn't look them up because i knew i wanted to get them even if not for reselling i think they're close to my size maybe i'll try them on i don't think they're gonna fit me they're an eight and a half i'm more of like a nine so i don't think they're for me i'm gonna resell them they were 6.99 which i felt like was great and um yeah especially since those toy birch shoes were the same exact price and these are literally like a pair of leather heels so nice um super cute and i think I didn't look them up. <laughs> These probably originally cost $150 or so at Madewell, and hopefully I can sell them for around $65, $75. That'd be great in my opinion. From the same new rack of shoes they are wheeling out, I also grabbed this pair, which had amazing comps. This apparently is a really popular style that's sought after, and heading into spring and summer, I think it's gonna do really well. They look like they're in great shape. They're an espadrille, kind of wedge sandal with a calf hair cheetah print on this little sandal part, the slide part. Um, but these were in a size seven and a half from J. Crew. The bottoms look pretty good, $5.99 for these. And it looks like it's real leather too for underneath the calf hair. Gorgeous pair of shoes. I did a reverse image search. A lot of these were selling for over 50 bucks, like 50 to $75. And I was like, oh, okay. I'll get those <laughs> for five bucks. Heck yeah, that's an awesome find. Another beautiful piece, shut up. This is amazing, look at this. Shut up, I cannot, it's amazing. It is this kind of sheath dress. It's black with this amazing red piping along the neck, sleeves, down the front. It's stunning. It hangs nice and straight and then there's a little slit back here at the back. But down the front too, it has these red lips, so cute, absolutely adorable. This is by another new to me brand, but I've done some research on it now so I can share it with you guys. It's Steve Fabricant. Now, this is vintage. It apparently was sold at Saks Fifth Avenue, so it's more high end. It looked very couture to me when I found it. Like this is well made. This isn't like a little Shein dress thrown about. This is like a nice thicker knit, has gorgeous details, absolutely stunning dress, and it should do 
really well. So I was looking at eBay and a lot of dresses like this were listed between 60 and $120. The ones that were selling for that higher amount were similar to this in that they had something unique on them. If this was just a plain color, it wouldn't be selling for more than 40 bucks probably. But since this has those lips on it and the color and it's an amazing style, I think I can list this around $100 to be honest. So we're gonna aim high. It's 75% wool, 25 rayon, made in the USA in a size 10. It's gorgeous. It's a nicer size, $7.99 for this. This was not marked up. Dresses rarely get marked up. They're just all $7.99 unless they're new with tags. Love this. Is that not the most amazing little lip dress you've ever seen? Oh my gosh. I'm in love with that. I think it's so cool. The same day I was there, this is two Goodwill trips over here. The same day I found that dress, I also found this one. My first time finding this brand as well. And who knows if the comps are what everybody else says. If so, it's gonna be fun to try it out for myself. It's a gorgeous like blue color gown. It's stunning. It flares at the bottom. It has all this amazing sequin detailing into flowers at the bodice. Gorgeous. And this is from Ursula of Switzerland, which I have, you know, done research on this brand before. It's something that I've looked into and some of their pieces can do really well. Again, it's going to be those more unique pieces and also a floor length gown is going to be doing better than something that's short and not unique. So for this in a size 12 made in the USA, again, this might've come from the same person actually as the Steve Fabricant. It's a gorgeous dress and it's hundred percent polyester, but such a stunning piece. Um, I'm hoping for around $75. For that piece as well i think i can probably probably get it because it is a floor length gown really special piece and formal all those things are a win that'd be a great mother of the bride dress as well okay then we have this is probably one of the least um least garnering of money pieces i have but it's so soft and such a sweet little piece i thought i'd grab it it's a long sleeve super soft top with these little blue flower prints all over it from Cloth and Stone, which this is an anthropology brand. So this is not cheap by any means. This was probably originally over $100. It's a size large, gorgeous piece. It was $4.99, so I paid a little bit under that for it, probably $4.50. It's 100% rayon in a size large, but it's really pretty. It's just really soft. I think that somebody's gonna love that. I'll probably only get like $35 maybe for it, but decided to grab it and then I grabbed this for myself if it's not for if it doesn't look great on me then I will resell it because it's also a good brand this is the brand exclusively Misook and it's a nice like thicker knit piece it's in a size 2x it's 100% acrylic um so that's not my normal size so we'll see how it looks on me but I thought for $3.99 it's gonna be a yes and heading into spring and summer I'm excited to give it a whirl we'll see how it does and is this a long haul? Probably. Are you guys enjoying it? I hope you are. <laughs> it's kind of fun to just do a throwback, just regular haul every once in a while. This is a really nice brand. It's a little kind of thin, really lightweight hoodie. It's a men's size, extra large. And it's gonna be so hard to show you the brand on this, but it's from the brand called Free Fly. And it's printed on there. I don't know if you can see it, but this is a good brand. And I think it's made in... If I'm not mistaken, Colorado is where this started. This has a stain on the front. So I actually got a good discount on this because of the stain, which is nice. Because I wasn't going to pay $5 for it if I didn't know if I could get the stain out. I don't even know if you can see the stain. But it's right smack dab in the middle. So I'm going to do some stain treatment on that. See if I can get it out. If I can, that should resell for around 40 bucks. So we'll see. Okay, we got a few more pieces here. <laughs> I picked up a pair of Nike sweatpants for my husband. Just black joggers. $9.99 for those, which felt like a lot at the thrift store, but we were, uh, we went with it because it was for my husband. Another fun piece here. I would say this leans vintage to me. It is a red plaid button up with that white collar, but it's from Ralph Lauren. It's their navy blue label, which is good. It's a Blake and it's in a size large and it definitely reads vintage. I think that tag is vintage. So for this, I'll probably list around 40 maybe $50. I thought it was a really cool piece. So we'll see how it does, I guess. And then I didn't even remember I picked this up. This has been a while since I grabbed this. It's kind of funny now that I saw the Alexis for Target piece. 
I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, this is another Target collab with a really nice brand that I would be so, so excited to find new. Like it would be so exciting to find just the brand itself, but it, it's a Target collab, it's okay. <laughs> um, but it's Rixo for Target. So Rixo, another amazing brand, more of like a tropical vibe, like floral prints, very beautiful pieces. This is a puff sleeve, full length dress with ruching down the middle. It's absolutely gorgeous. Even though this is just a Target collab, I do think that I'm going to be able to resell this for close to 40, 50 bucks. It's in a size 10. It was $7.99. I hope I can get that amount for it because otherwise it probably wasn't worth it. But I thought this was so pretty. If somebody was going on a tropical vacation, this is like the dress for you. So gorgeous, excited to list that. And we have three more pieces, <laughs> so stay tuned. This came out on a new rack. And it's a brand I'd never heard of before, but the comps were really good. It's expensive, new. It's $4.99 for this. It is this blue kind of little cardigan. It's really thick. It has an interesting sleeve to it. But this is from the brand Sundays, which is not the same thing as Sundays in Brooklyn. It's a different brand from what I understand. And I think it can be sold at Anthropology, from what I did in my research. But this is so expensive. It's in a size three. Another reason to look it up because they have their own size and chart. So I decided to grab it, but it looked like it should resell for over 50 bucks. So hopefully <laughs> it's really nice. I'm assuming a size three is probably close to a size large. That's generally how they do things. Don't know why, but it is. And then I got this for myself. Again, the friend that I ran into, the subscriber that I ran into at just the Goodwill one day when my phone had died, all this stuff, um, she found this and she decided not to get it for resale. And then I was like, wow, that is so soft and comfy. But it's also a great piece and I think I'm gonna keep it for myself. Look at this bathrobe. It is so fluffy, like so fluffy and cute, but it's actually a Pottery Barn bathrobe, which probably could sell for good money, but I'm kind of tempted to keep it for myself. It looks so comfy and cozy, although we are heading into summer, but this was only $1.99, $2 for a Pottery Barn bathrobe with this little belt attached still heck yeah that is really big and fluffy though <laughs> so um loved that that was exciting for me and then with my 10 percent off what i paid a dollar and 80 cents for that like no brainer and then the very last piece that i found are these amazing boots they are a little bit of an almond like a pointed toe but a little rounded down here they have the nice chunky heel they're a gorgeous black leather i love the way that it is like laid on there draped it's gorgeous real leather and these were 6.99 so these are the same price as the tory birch little sandal the flip-flops which i'm like i don't know what's happening with some of this um some of the pricing i could well but i'll take it but these are another paul green pair of shoes paul green boots real leather I just sold a pair of Paul Green boots for like 70 bucks the other day. So to find these for $6.99 and I paid a little bit less than that, I was pretty jazzed about that. These are awesome. These are in a size seven, which has gotta be larger. So maybe like a size 10 or so for, for women. It's, the size chart's crazy. I don't understand it. But I was really excited about those. I think those are gonna do awesome. Now, planning on picturing all the shoes right after this and then setting all the clothes down to be pictured by my wonderful husband. Jeremy is helping me out so much by doing so much of my picture taking for me so I can focus more on listing and videos and it's just so helpful. Y'all find you um, a spouse that really supports your dreams. Um, I'm very thankful for Jeremy. Also got the fluff ball in the back. Otis is taking a little snooze on the best seat in the house. But yeah, those are the pieces I found. That's a lot of stuff. That was a long haul, <laughs> but I'm glad I got to share it with you. Please let me know which piece was your favorite. There's a lot to choose from, a lot of great finds. And let me know if you learned any new brands today. I'm always here to try to help educate and share my knowledge with you guys. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it and you think I earned your subscription, I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button and give today's video a thumbs up. But I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And until the next video, bye.